What if supermarkets vanish, cans run dry, and your stomach growls in silence? Could you feed yourself of the weeds under your boots? Welcome to foraging edible plants after the apocalypse. No grocery aisles, no labels, just you, the wild, and survival. Today, we'll master five foolproof plants to keep you alive when hunting fails or traps are empty. Why do you need it? One missed meal weakens you. Three can kill. Foraging gives calories, vitamins, and medicine without bullets or bait. In a collapsed world, plants outnumber prey 100 to 1. Rule number one, universal edible test. If in doubt, rub on skin, wait eight hours. No rash? Touch lips. Wait eight more. Chew a pinch. Spit out. Wait eight. Swallow a tiny bit. Wait eight. No burn, nausea, or cramps. Safe to eat. Top five apocalypse staples. Dandelion. Every part edible. Leaves bitter but vitamin packed. Roots roast like coffee. Cattail. Supermarket of the swamp. Young shoots like cucumber. Pollen for flour. Chickweed. Mild. Spinach like. Grows and cracks under rubble. Eat raw or boil. Pine needles. Vitamin C balm. Steep in hot water for anti-scurvy tea. Plantain. Broadleaf. Not banana. Wound healer and salad green. Crushed leaves for poultry. Forage smart. Avoid roadsides, chemical runoff. Skip shiny or milky sap plants. Never eat mushrooms unless you're 100%. Many kill in hours. Test it. Eat only one new plant per day. Track energy, digestion. Still strong after 48 hours? Add to your menu. If this kept you alive today, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. More survival hacks drop weekly. So, yes, you can eat the earth. With foraging, you're not starving. You're self-sufficient. Stay sharp. Stay fed. Survivors.